Welcome to my newest Civ 5 playthrough, the Battle Royale Edition. This is part one. I am the Crassin. Now I'm sure you're asking, what is a Battle Royale Edition? What does that mean? Alright, well normally, I'll pick a Civ I want to play and then I'll leave all the other ones set to random. I'll let the computer decide, but not in this case. In this case, I have hand-picked every other Civ that's going to be in this game. And I have picked the most, or what I think are the most aggressive militaristic civs, and only the most aggressive and militaristic civs. So let's take a look at our cast of characters here. We have the Huns, of course, the Zulus, Mongolia, Rome, Aztecs, Ottomans, and Assyria. Quite the dumpster fire, don't you think? How can we possibly survive this kind of onslaught? Well, that's going to be a good question. Uh, go over a couple of mods real quick. A uh, map I'm using is the Hellblazers map script version 5. We are on a Pangaea standard land size, standard map size, 16 city states, uh, legendary start, strategic balance. I'm also using Info Addicts and the Enhanced User Interface. We'll see those more when we get in-game. The only victory conditions I have enabled are Diplomatic and Domination. Quick Combat Quick Movement is on, and uh, we have Barbs and Ruins. We want both of those. So the next question is, what Civ am I going to play that might be able to survive this onslaught? And I, I had narrowed it down to four. I was thinking it'd be either England... Hey, longbows, ship of the line, good stuff. Uh, I was looking at Persia with their extended golden ages. And uh, China was another one. And I was considering Babylon. So I decided to rule out England because I play them a lot. And I decided to rule out Persia because I played them recently. And I, I do kind of play them, not a lot, but more than others. It's fun. Persia's just fun. Um, so I was kind of looking at Babylon or China. And then uh, I started thinking about a game I played a couple months ago. And uh, it was it was pretty fun. And I decided to play that Civ again. And that one is Greece. So that gives you some idea of what our strategy is going to be getting city-state alliances. Now that itself is not going to win the game for us, but it's certainly going to help our civilization thrive, survive, thrive, and prosper. Because, you know, the, the city-states are going to gift you faith, food, happiness, luxury, strategic resources, um, even military units. And culture. You can't forget about culture. Culture is going to be very important because the strategy I have in mind, we're going to need a few more than average social policies. So we're going to need a really strong culture and science game. What I'm hoping with this is that we can survive until sometime around, I'd say, industrial era, maybe early modern, which I think we, you know, looking at this cast of characters, we should start to tech ahead of them by then. If we're still alive, and I don't know if we're going to be. All of these civs, the way they work is they like to build up big armies and then go attack somebody with a small army. Just by that fact that they all do that, the only one in the game that's not going to have a big army is me. So I won't be surprised if we're going to be under constant attack. But I also want, I, I'm very curious to see how these guys will interact with each other because you got you know here's here's one civ building a big army he wants to go attack another one. he looks at that one that one's got a big army do they go to war with each other or do they all just come after me and ignore each other i guess we're gonna find out so let's uh let's cue this thing up and see what kind of uh what kind of a start location we can get All right, let's take a look at this. We've got, um, we're on a hill, but we're not on fresh water. 
That's disappointing. We've got a couple of bison, a sheep, some deer, salt. It's great. And we've got some mining resources around here. And we've got a river system. We've got a few uh, freshwater tiles here. Well, it's marsh, but um, I think in this case, it would be more advantageous to settle on this hill. It's a hill. It's still on the, it's on the river. This one is not. It would be fresh water. And it's next to a mountain, so we can build an observatory. Uh, I would like to move the scout. Well, you're surrounded by hills. There's not a whole lot you can do, is there? Still, let's see what we can uncover this way. Okay. Well, that's even better. We got a, we got several uh, good growth tiles over here. Let's do this. Let's jump on here. I think this will be a better spot. It's going to take a while to grow out to the silver. We're going to have to wait to take advantage of the salt, but not too long. Let's grab production focus, as always. I'm going to knock out two scouts, and we're going to research pottery. And if everything goes well, by the time we have pottery, the second scout will be done. And we're going to build a shrine. We'll get to the monument eventually. But we want to get a shrine up. We want to get a religion up. It's going to be very, very important to have a good, strong religion. So, let's uh, let's go grab that. And as far as pantheons go, I would really like... I would really like open sky if I can get it. That's one culture for pastures. Because... Looking at where we're at right now, we've got one, two, three, and even that one. We've got four sheep within the radius of our city. Five. I didn't see that one. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have some horses in here somewhere, too. Um, so, at least one, one tile of horses. So, we're looking at six pastures just in the capital itself. And we're going to need a lot of culture because I got a lot of social policies I want to get. Um, give me an upgrade. Shall the clay say to him that? All right. Well, there's more pastures. And there's another cow right here and there's citrus right here. Is this fresh water? Tell me it's fresh water. No. Yeah, there might still be an expand up here somewhere. Damn jungle. I hate jungle. Okay, well, do we want to scout or, you know, I guess I wasn't expecting that so soon. Okay, let's go, um, yeah, let's go scout shrine scout. And we'll grab up animal husbandry, find out where the horses are. Do you want to beat on, beat up on that or you want to keep, uh, wandering around some more? Let's go do a little looking around. I have no interest in jacking that thing up right now. Because my my first social policy is going to be to open tradition. The next one is going to be to open honor. And that one is going to give us culture for killing barbs. But I don't have any units to kill barbs with right now, so I don't need it. That's some um, difficult terrain to move through, but let's press on. There we go. Is that a city-state border right there? Can't tell. Let's go grab this rune. Nice river system. There's some dyes right here. Should be an expanse somewhere out here. Maybe right here next to these mountains. It's a hill. It's on a river. There's a unique luxury. Some growth tiles. There's desert down here too. Uh, Petra! <laughs> I can't help doing that. Sorry. Alright, let's have you... Let's have you head down this way. All right, we've got coastline. Okay, are we in the south? Or are we in the southeast? Don't know. There's some more silver. And more silver down here. Which I cannot reach. That's the four tile lux. There's, there's always one. Oh. Crap ass freaking ruin. 
Borders want to grow to the salt or the bison. I'd be cool with either one, but I prefer the salt. Let's have you... Well, this is some rough terrain no matter what. Let's just hop over here. I'll have you head south. All right, so part of the strategy, uh, I was talking about a good strategy. Part of the strategy is uh, there are a number of social policies I would like to get. And obviously, I want to fill out tradition. If, I, if I'm able to get up a good religion, what that means is starting in the industrial area, I can buy great engineers with faith. And I'll probably want one for, I'm thinking... Maybe Statue of Liberty, if I go honor. Maybe uh, Eiffel Tower. Uh, but more importantly, with the religion is... If I can get up an early religion, or first, maybe second... I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. If I can get... I, I'd like to get pagodas. That's what I want. Tithe as the founder belief. Pagodas as the follower belief. Because the pagoda is going to give uh, two, two um, faith... To culture and to happiness and I plan on having some really tall cities so happiness is going to be important if I am able to get up a good religion I may grab a couple of policies here in uh, piety uh, I definitely want theocracy for the money and uh, extra faith from shrines and temples would be helpful this one would be okay but if we're generating a lot of faith may not need it obviously we're going to want to go and go through patronage here um i may not necessarily grab all of them uh this is good i'm not sure if it's absolutely necessary this one here is not necessary the only reason i would grab these two is if i want to get the closer which is occasionally they'll get uh great people and i'm not really counting on that but we do want the opener to increase our city-state influence. We're at 50% now. We grab this opener and we go to 75%. Uh, and we definitely want this one. And this one's good. And we definitely want this one. I also want to get the aesthetics opener just to get the 25% increase in generating great writers, artists, and musicians. Depending on our cash flow, I may want to grab the commerce opener and wagon trains just to reduce the cost of the roads. But um, I'd like to get several into honor because if we're going to be under attack, something like this one is going to be really helpful. And that's another reason I chose Greece. They have two really strong early game units. The Hoplite, which is a 13 combat strength. Spearman replacement and the the regular Spearman is 11 combat strength and they also have the companion cavalry which uh, I believe is a 14 combat strength um, it should be right here 14 combat strength horseman replacement uh, the regular horseman is I believe is 12 combat strength so those are two units that we're going to want to try to take advantage of and hopefully those are going to help keep us alive. Alright, another ruin. Excellent. More ruins. Go ahead and jump over here. Alright, we're pop two. Yeah, we'll work that sheep until the borders grow out here. Seven more turns. I guess we're going to work sheep. Going to be a little so slow growth because I moved away from these two tiles. But I still think this is a much better start location. We're on fresh water. We need that for the gardens. We've got to build gardens. That's going to increase their rate of uh, great people. Haven't seen a city-state yet, though. Uh, I'm going to wait on that one because I'm hoping for an upgrade. 20 culture. Okay. I'll take it. And 100 gold. Nice. And we can't get to that one. There's a the city-state. Every bit of gold we can get... Geez, there's more silver. This would actually be a good expand right here. If I want to be coastal, which I really don't. I could just put it here. 
Because if I have a coastal city, then I'm probably going to have to build another coastal city. Just so I can build up enough ships, ships to protect them. And I really don't want to have to build a navy as well as an army. But we could still put it here. One, two, three. We could still get the silver. There's no other unique luxury around here, though. So, speaking of luxuries, we've got silver, we've got salt, there's citrus here, we're going to need to take advantage of that. There's dyes here, so we got one, two, three, four unique luxuries so far, and lots of extra copies of silver. I don't like that these are sitting down here by themselves. It's going to be, it's an invitation for the AI to come in here and drop a city right here. And uh, we definitely don't want the AI in the backyard. Here's some truffles, okay. So this looks like a really good expand right here. We'll have to scout that area a little bit more. There's potentially uh, another expand down here somewhere. Take advantage of the truffle, truffles. Troubles? Oh, there's going to be troubles. All right. All right, let's keep going. Let's go meet the city-state. 30 gold. They're mercantile. They give happiness. Excellent. I'm going to want to steal a worker, too. And that I, I get that might sound kind of odd. You know, you're trying to get city-state alliances. Why would you steal a city-state? Well, don't forget, our when we steal one, we're going to be in a state of war. Our influence will go from zero to minus 60. But it's going to tick back up to zero at two points per turn. So in 30 turns, we're going to be back to zero. I can keep going back and steal workers from the same city-state, and that number will continue to decline. As long as I don't steal a worker and then piece them out and then steal another one. So I can keep that war open and our negative influence will continue to decline every turn. Here's another one right here. Do you have a worker for me? I think maybe. Okay, let's grab tradition opener. Three culture per turn. We're going to need that. We're also going to want to grab this one before long because I may be building some early game wonders. Maybe. And I'm thinking Stonehenge. I'm also thinking possibly, well, possibly Stonehenge and possibly uh, Hanging Gardens. Thou shalt not muzzle. Alright, let's go meet this city-state Mombasa is another 30 gold and they send food to the capital okay there's probably nothing down here but I think I'll go ahead and scout down that way anyhow our shrine is up let's grab mining I want to know where the iron is we probably moved away from it but we also want to be able to get the silver on, online when our borders get out there. We're going to grow in one more turn. Bison or salt? Place your bets. Oh, we got horses too. Good, they're not on the fresh what? Well, that one is, but that's great. Excellent. That's another good, uh, that's another good food source. So you grew onto the horses. That's cool. We can take that. Um... Let's try and get away from this idiot. Here, I'm going to trespass a little bit. Ah, another city-state. They are maritime also. Okay. Now, when I'm talking about stealing the workers, I'd like to multi-steal, and that means stealing workers from the same city-state over and over again. But you have to have the right conditions to do that. They're, they can see one tile out from their borders. So if I'm standing here, I can steal the first one easy. But the second one, if I'm standing like right here, they're going to see my unit. And they're never going to send their worker out here. So I have to be two tiles out. Um, in this case, if I think they're going to be working the deer, I can stand right here. Move into there, steal it. But, you know, I'm going to take a city shot. And then I cross the river and my movement's done. I'm going to take another city shot. So doing that with the warrior might be tricky. Uh, the same problem is over here. Well, no, not really. 
I can I can stand over here and, and do it and then when I leave I can go one two and I only get shot by the city once I really thought this through man that's <laughs> all right let's get our other scout up okay you have only one top see this one that's another thing if I wanted to steal from this one, well, their borders go up here. Let's take a look in this direction. Okay, they got some wheat there. There's some more dyes. A lot of jungle. Oh, I, I have to get a city up here somewhere. I need a blocker city. At least one. We'll have to see. We've got to bust through the rest of this fog. And that, that's, again, that's one of the things I, I look at when I'm planning my cities is blocker cities to protect the capital so we've got a city state right here i don't know if there's another city state right here but i'm definitely going to be looking at putting a blocker city out here somewhere and probably right here on this hill we can get the truffles there's two wheat tiles there's bison there's sheep there's a shitload of good growth tiles in here uh we've got we've got a couple of hills these are our plains river so you'll get the food and the hammers the same with that one. One, two, three can reach the sheep. So that looks like a good expand. This looks like a good expand. I need to bust out through some of this fog to see where would be a, a, another good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking maybe right on this hill. It's not fresh water. That, that kind of sucks, but is this fresh water? No. Not there either. Well, it's still... One right here is still a, a pretty solid choice. There's some there's some good tiles in here. Um, I have to see... That looks like a river right there. Let's keep going. I quit yapping and get to clicking. See, they're probably going to get a worker out here to work this wheat right away. So I can stand right here and just grab him. Oh, piss off, man. Go away. Okay, there's a river, man. And there's bananas right there. Is this water? No. Uh, do I want to settle on bananas? Is that a good idea? Does that, does that wreck the bananas? I, I'm pretty sure if you settle on it, you'll get three food and one hammer, but, you know, normally bananas will, will become four food. So I might be short myself one there. It's all this jungle around here. But I really, I don't know if I want to do a flatland settle. One, two, three. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's look around some more. All right, we got us another scout. Let's just uh, head off in this direction. All right, I think... Yeah, I really need to get a worker. Uh, no, I promised a monument. Or do I need a monument? I mean, it would be helpful, but we're going tradition here. We're going to get a free one. Normally, I'll go ahead and build it and then sell it later. Because the monument is two culture per turn. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and build it. Because I may not go... I may not go straight this way. I mean, I may grab that one and then open honor. Or I may open honor and then come back and grab that one. So it might be a while before we actually get that. And the, the extra culture is, is always helpful. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, he smacked my scout and worthless sack of shit. Actually, I'm going to come over here. I want to I wanna take a look at something.
fucking thing keeps following me. Okay, I just wanted to see down at this corner. Oh, I didn't tell you to move there. Oh, well, since you already did. Got us a protection. We got a pantheon up already. Must be Naztecs. Alright, gonna grow in five turns. I wanted you to grow to the salt. Alright, I don't have any units to fight barbs with yet, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one right now. Alright, let's keep going. we got to find more city-states and find out where the, uh, find out where the other civs are. Man, everybody's beating up my scout. Piss off. Alright, come down here. I think we can steal from that one somewhat easily. Uh, what do we want to do next here? I guess I'll grab archery. Okay, well, I, I like a, a scout archer, but now I kind of want to keep him back here because he's an archer. I would have liked the, uh, Hoplite upgrade. Alright, monuments done. Uh, I think... I'm gonna start on a, uh, I'm gonna start on a worker. I'm gonna keep this guy back here to see if I can grab one. But I may have to bring him back to do some, uh, protection duty. When that other, when my worker gets done. Alright, there's some faith. Nice, 30 gold, another religious city-state. Or not another religious city-state, a religious city-state. Okay, we should have enough faith now. Yeah, so we'll get our Pantheon next turn. Alright, I still want culture for pastures. It's not going to help us get up a religion, though. So we may have to think about building Stonehenge. And I'd like the borders to grow to this silver so I can get that online. We're going to need not, not only the happiness, but we're going to need the hammers. So now I'm kind of glad I built the monument. The extra culture is going to help with border expansion. Okay, we're on the salt. Let's grab that for the extra gold. See, he's going to grow in one turn. You don't do anything. Huh. Well, there's a worker right now. Hey, he's so far away, though. I want my scout to heal up. I'm gonna leave him there for a couple of turns. Let's go ahead and do this. Open sky. The only way to go. And 60 faith right there. Nice! That's a huge boost. Wow, I can't believe that. Oh man, that's awesome. That gives us a great chance of getting first religion. Alright. 
you know, come over here and watch both of these tiles. Give me a worker. All right, cat's grown. Let's get you on that one. Have a worker in six. Nothing for you. There's the Aztecs right there. It's not too close. I don't know. I still like to get Stonehenge, but at the same time, there's other things I need to be doing. Let's just hop over here and see if they have anything going. Gaping all in my power and majesty. I love the crazy eyes he's got. Alright, there's an archer. Let's skedaddle. Ah, crap. Ow! Man. Brutal attack. Leave my little buddy alone. I wonder if there's such a thing as a, a healing ruin. Well, he's got a promotion if he can live. I want you to have some sight. We've got an interloper. He's not really a, much of a problem. How far are we from our next policy? Two turns. Well, come on up here. We'll uh, we'll kill that thing. Seventy gold. Oh, look at that. I'm one short, and I have zero gold per turn. And I'm one short of having enough to buy a worker. Right, yeah, go ahead and shoot them. I'll have the warrior kill them off. The haft of the arrow. All right, crew to the stone. Good tile. Would have preferred the silver, but hey, you know. Six more turns, and we'll be on the silver. Oh, it's a tough choice. Trapping would be good. Get the bison online. Bronze working. Calendar for the chance to build Stonehenge. Or bronze working so I can bang out a hoplite or two. Hmm. We don't have any calendar resources right here, so if we did pick that, it would only be for Stonehenge. I think, in this case, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and grab Bronze Working. Alright, go ahead and grab that. Pop Rune. We may just start banging out Settlers first. I'm always banging stuff. <laughs> All right, that worker's gonna be out in two turns. Let's get the new pop on, uh, well, let's get on there. All right, let's keep going. Come on, stop running away from me. I need to kill your ass. Because it's coaching time. Well, I, I, man, I need you to be out scouting. You gotta heal. Maybe I'll just make another scout. I need to be killing units for the culture. All right, Mr. Worker. Come over here and get that salt online. Can you take him out? Really? We can't get the kill, huh? If he runs down here, the city's gonna kill him. We can't have that. Come on, man. Give me a good roll. Dang. 
All right, I want um, I want an archer first, and maybe another archer, and then a hoplite, and then I think we're gonna start hammering out settlers. We need to get our expands in. The first one I want is this one. I need a blocker city between me and uh, what's his nuts over there. Probably gonna grab that one next. Actually, give me the archer and and then another scout because I'm gonna be using that scout archer. Where did that little fetcher go? Oh, look at that, man! He got me a worker. Let's go ahead and grab this twenty culture. Sweet. The city shot's gonna kill him, but that guy is gonna go back to the barb camp, which. He came from this direction, so he's going to walk right through my capital, which is exactly where I need him. Get to mining, boy. Here we go. Oh, and a new barb camp. Great. I'll just be taking that. Okay, I was going to kill that one, but since we have one over here, let's go take care of that. Well, you know what? I'm going to kill the unit that's in here, but I'm not going to clear it. I'm not going to clear it until one of these guys targets that. And I may still s steal a, a worker from him, but this is cool. I got one without having to steal one. But I may still steal one from those guys. Oh, hand axe. Not cool. We'll go ahead and put a city shot on that one. Ah, my archer's red just in time. That's not going to be enough to kill him. Which means he's going to come over and capture my worker, but... That's fine. Cuz I'll get him I'll I'll get it right back next turn. Now nah, keep mining. Bait. Perfect. Da, da, da. There's the kill shot. Oh, not you. The warrior. And you can come over here. Let's have you come over here. We'll start putting some shots on that thing. Get you some experience. Get me some culture. Oh, I didn't even look. See how much culture we got from that. Man, I'm so... Ah. I'm so close to having enough money to buy a buy another worker. Oh crap, hand axe. Run little buddy. Okay, why are we uh not growing? Okay. <laughs> okay, Mombasa target targeted the camp. Let's see, Archer. You can put a shot on him. You put a shot on him. Warrior Slam. I could return it, but I'm not going to. And now we'll go clear that camp since it's targeted. Finish mining. I gotta find a way to, to scout through all these damn barb camps. Cape Town may have one for me too. Alright, where's our iron? Right there in the hill next to us. Excellent. Warrior's got an upgrade. Let's give you uh, there's a bit of mix of both here. I'm going to give you open terrain. 
Okay, you're targeting that camp. No. What camp are you targeting? Okay, just want to make sure. Okay. Now we're friends. Alright, you get on the silver. You come on over here. Uh, gonna have the archer. Let's see, we got another barb camp to the north. Is it targeted by anybody? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna send you off to the east. Oh, somebody cleared that camp. Okay, let's get up a hoplite, and then I think we're gonna hammer out some settlers. I need to get the I need to get our cities established. Uh, I will. Let's see. Don't, no. Well, man, I really would like Stonehenge. I was gonna say, well, I'm. I can grab trapping to get the bison online, but I'm not going to be working this bison anytime soon. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to have you work the horses for the pasture for the culture. Um... No, I might have you go put the iron online. We're gonna need the hammers. I wanna I wanna get these guys built quick. So grabbing trapping doesn't help me right now. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab calendar. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Where was that one? Okay. Well, there was Barb Camp here at one time. We're going to have to find out who it was that cleared it. But I just want to know who the neighbors are. All right, so. Other possible expands. Well, we definitely want to drop one. I could put it here. I could put it out here, even. We can still reach those wheat, though not right away. One, two, three. We can grab that salt. I already have salt, though, so that's just going to be an extra copy. I think I want to put one here. It's just going to be closer. It's going to be easier for me to run reinforcements out here. I wouldn't even necessarily need a road right away. So I think I'll grab that one and probably this one. And then we'll look at putting something out here. Okay, um, I think that might be uh, where we're going to leave it for today. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of looking around to see where I might want to put another city. There's dyes up here. I wouldn't mind getting those online. This is a hill river. It won't get the citrus though. Oh, man. You may have to do a flatland settle. Or or, or settle off-river. I could put one there, I guess. It'd be a little bit close to this one. We got dyes right there, so putting one up here to get those dyes isn't really adding to anything. Still, I could put it here. I hate doing flatland. But that one would still reach the dyes. Reach these cattle, the horses, the citrus. Yeah. I got these mountains right here, and it's this one's going to be off river. This one's not going to get the citrus. There's truffles here as well. So this is a 
decent spot. Well, we've got we've got two archers. We're going to have a hoplite coming out, so those guys are going to run around killing barbs, getting culture for us. we still got the warrior here. I may trek down this way and I'll see they already improved it. Okay, I may still come down here and steal one from these guys. I don't know. I, I need a little bit of money. I got enough. I got enough to buy one. Yeah, we got negative gold at the moment too because I have so many units. But I'm not going to worry about that. I think that's where we're going to leave it right now though. This is looking like a, potentially a pretty good situation. We're kind of tucked away in the southeast corner. We can see the Aztecs where they are. They're not that close. We should be able to get up uh, at least, well, let's see, one, two, three, four. That'll give us five cities. Maybe we'll get a fifth, uh, a sixth one in somewhere. I don't, don't really know where I would put it, but um, that's his capital too. Yikes. He's going to come out here and settle by this salt. I can almost guarantee. Well, I don't know. He might come down and settle by this one first. And maybe between the two. That'd be okay. I, I, I wouldn't feel that's too close. I'd be cool with that. Uh, there's some cocoa. So maybe there's an expand up here. It'd be really kind of on its own. Something to think about. Anyway... I think that's where we're going to leave it for right now. We're, we're looking pretty good. I still like to get Stonehenge, but I really want to get our cities out. And uh, so we'll get, the, we'll get the silver and the iron online so we have some extra hammers. And then start building some pastures. So, but that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. And I will see you in part two of the Civ 5 Battle Royale Edition. See you then.